Hey guys, what's going on? Before today's video, I just wanted to uh, give you a quick heads up that if you guys enjoy the intros lately, I've been having a lot of fun making them. Uh, you guys can submit your own funny replays to the channel using the email address that I'll put on the screen right now. So if you want to uh, submit anything funny that happens to you inside the game to me, go ahead and shoot me an email. would love to have your content on the channel. Of course, I will give you guys credit. So with that, enjoy the episode. We're going to cover a deck by Morton that has put him in two of his other accounts into Ultimate Champion League. Wow. Hey yo, my song's on, I gotta get my brub on some so, All the three buckets of mama, we getting on Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. Today, I am joined by Morton, and oh my god, this guy has three accounts in Ultimate Champions League. Are you kidding me? Look at almost 800,000 cards won. This guy's an absolute monster. The crazy thing here is it's all with the same deck. He uses for challenges and for ladder on all these accounts a bait deck, a classic bait deck. And I know it's not a brand new deck for you guys, but I wanted to show you the gameplay, the decision making, and most importantly, how Morton handles the difficult matchups, such as Lava Loon. I mean, all we have is Princess, Ice Spirit, and Tornado. It kind of reminds me of when Surgical Goblin just barely, just narrowly defeated Ashen in King's Cup 2 in that exact same matchup. And this is the deck, guys. And by the way, I'll never forget to link a deck in the description again. My apologies. I have been a little forgetful lately, but this time I have it written on a sticky note on my monitor. Link the deck, Ash, you big dummy. Link it. So let's hop into the first replay here, guys. We're going to first cover this matchup. Morton against this incredibly, incredibly popular. Honestly, it might be the strongest deck out there right now. I've yet to do a review, I think, on this exact deck, but I will soon. Or maybe I shouldn't do it soon. I don't know. I don't want in any part, I don't want to in any part, in any way popularize this deck because of how dang good it is. It's Zap Bait with the Miner and the Mega Knight. You have the uh, Bats, obviously, you have Skeleton Barrel, and you also have Inferno Dragon, uh, Spear Goblins, four cards you can use Zap on. It's incredible. But watch how Morton handles this matchup. I guess five cards with Goblin Gang. Unbelievable. So you can, you're going to see here that, you know, when the opponent starts to uh, cycle cards behind one of their towers, Morton usually will immediately attack with a Goblin Barrel, even if the opponent uh, doesn't necessarily, or, or does necessarily have a counter in hand, he's going to be ready for it and try to keep the pressure on both lanes so he can defend better on the other end. Now, he's able to activate his King Tower here with the Princess being placed right in front of that King Tower. Perfect placement on that Princess. And then the Mega Knight does do a lot of damage to his left tower, taking it down to 21, 26. However, here we go, trying to anticipate those Spear Goblins or the Goblin Gang. A good log there by Morton, unfortunately, didn't land this time. One of the cards that Morton uses like such a pro in this deck is Ice Spirit. Ice Spirit, for those of you who didn't see my ranking of every card and every rarity video, I really think that Ice Spirit is the best common card in the game right now. You know, you can make an argument that Zap should belong there as well, but at the cost of only one elixir, I think it has profound value in the game right now. So here we go. Bats coming in on the left. Miner has joined the party. We're going to use a Goblin Gang to try to stop that and throw that Goblin Barrel, keeping the pressure on the left tower. The opponent opts to zap there, play some Spear Goblins, and we're going to get a little bit of log value. So we're still not in the lead here, and uh, but we're going to we're going to make a big comeback here coming into uh, double, uh, or excuse me, overtime. So we send in the Ice Spear on the left lane, get a little bit more chip damage. We have the Princess behind the right tower. Here we go. Skeleton Barrel, Miner, Inferno Dragon, Mega Knight coming opposite lane. We're going to save. We never, never overcommit on defense. We wait to see what the opponent does first. We're going to drop that knight on the Mega Knight. Drop the Goblin Gang behind the Mega Knight. Meanwhile, two princesses on the arena right now for Morton. One thing you'll notice about Morton's gameplay, guys, he always loads up the princesses. You're going to see some matches that will be unbelievable here today, guys. You'll see a lot of princess action. Now we're going to use the princess at the bridge. Get a little bit more.
sword chip damage. Mega Knight being played at the bridge by the opponent. Now we have to do some really slick defending here again. We have the Goblin Gang on the right, the Knight on the left to distract that Mega Knight. We're going to use a tornado here, pull everything together in the middle of the arena. Ice Spirit will freeze it up. Here we go. Knight being placed. Now, distract this Goblin Gang. All we need is one uh, rocket on the left, but look at that princess on the right. The princess is going to town over there, and believe it or not, guys, the right tower. The right tower is going to be the one that goes down here, not the left one. So, very well played there by Morton. I can't believe this guy, man. I've had him on the channel before. I can't believe that he has three accounts in Ultimate Champion. By the way, huge shout out to Wave UT. Maybe Wave YouTube, my YouTube sponsor of the day. Thank you so much, Wave. I appreciate it, and I appreciate all my YouTube sponsors. So let's go ahead into match number two. This time, we're going to go against a little bit of a heavier deck. How do we deal with a Golem deck with this version of bait? Remember, no Inferno Tower in this version. We have the Tornado instead. So you're going to see how Morton applies really strategic pressure in these matches against in this matchup, as well as the Lava Loon to really stymie his opponent from being able to pull off one of those monster pushes in either of the lanes. So here we go, always going to be playing Princess with this deck. If you walk away with one tip, if I can tell you one tip about how to be a good bait player, it's cycle princesses. You want a lot of princesses on the board, on the arena. Princess is definitely your most valuable card, I guess along with the, uh, of course, with the Goblin Barrel there. And you're going to notice in this replay, anytime you know your opponent has uh, uh, no log in their deck, a, a zap for example, you're going to be comboing in a lot of matchups the ice spirit with the goblin barrel. You're going to see that a lot in this matchup. So a good tornado to pull the, and activate the king tower on that golem there by Morton. And check out that knight placement, guys. Is that beautiful or what? He drops that knight. The knight's able to distract the baby dragon, really mitigating the, the damage on that left tower. 2598. Now the opponent opts to pump up. We're immediately going to punish that pump. And that's a lesson that obviously you guys probably already know but you should take away from this video is if your opponent pumps you're gonna want to always use a rocket against it this is not a deck where you're gonna want a heavier deck such as three musketeers or a golem beat down basically the two decks using pump right now maybe some giant decks as well uh, but you're definitely definitely going to want to always rocket the pump there so if you know they have pump make sure you save that rocket so here we go again goblin Bla goblin gang being played at the right bridge there keeping up the pressure here and in just a moment we 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 this is going to drop the golem in the back. So let's see how we handle this. Golem being dropped in the back. We're going to really unload in that right lane. We're going to play a knight in a moment on the left lane. So at this point, we threw a goblin barrel. We have a princess on the right. We're going to drop a knight right over there. So he kind of intercepts that golem at the bridge. But we were ready for that mega minion. That was actually a predictive goblin gang there. We knew the mega minion was going to be played. We play that goblin gang. We bait out his zap. Now we just have to use the log and the tornado in succession right there. Boom. And look at that, beautiful knight placement, intercepting that Dark Prince. Again, no damage on that left tower. What a beast. And then we have two, two princesses again on the board. Remember, cycle your princesses. Here comes Goblin Barrel and Ice Spirit again, even with the tornado. Oftentimes, you can get a few stabs of those goblins with the Ice Spirit if your opponent does have that NATO. So look at this, guys. It's two princesses. We're not done yet. It's three princesses in the right lane here. Knowing, again, the opponent does not have a log, we're going to take advantage of that. We're basically trying to kite everything around using Ice Spirits. Now it's two princesses versus one prince. We're going to send in the Goblin Barrel, get a few more stabs in, and basically, we're just going to keep pulling this stuff away from our troops. First, we're going to distract with the Goblin Gang, then with the NATO. Again, Whis is really on his heels there. Unfortunate stab on that princess in the right lane there. Almost didn't lose him there, but check it out. A goblin gang and a log combination, or goblin gang, a goblin barrel and a log combination, and the rocket's gonna finish off that right tower. Really well played. This guy is a big god, man. I mean, I think that Adam kind of, I don't know if he's in retirement, but I think that Adam kind of uh, took a step back from the game. And I think that he had a, a son, a, a prince. <laughs> and he was the, the prince in mentorship to be the new bait god. And then his name was Morton. Yeah. 
and he's all grown up now, and he's the new bait god. Now that Adam's gone, <laughs> now that Adam's not around, that was easily the stupidest thing I've ever said on the channel. But hey, let's kind of ignore it and keep going on because I don't edit. All right, here we go. It is an ice spirit and a goblin barrel on the left lane. We're gonna freeze that mega minion and get a lot of damage on that left tower. That was almost a thousand damage. Actually, that was over a thousand damage on that left tower just off that very first push there. Ice spirit and a goblin barrel, perfect way to start out your matches. But you'll notice, guys, this is the deck I was talking about. It's Lava Loon. How the heck do you beat Lava Loon? You have a few Spirit Goblins in your Goblin Gang. Actually, a couple of Spirit Goblins in your Goblin Gang. And then you have the Princess Ice Spirit. That's about it. So how are we going to do this? Well, one thing we're going to do is be pretty aggressive. So here we go. Uh, so far, so good. We get that damage off that left tower. However, the opponent just needs to, to really go one big push, execute one big push against us with the Lava Hound and the Balloon, and we're going to be in trouble. So let's see what he does here. He sends in the Ice Spirit in the back, sends in the Knight, and then he's trying to cycle quickly to that Goblin Barrel. Here he goes. Goblin Barrel opposite tower. And then he has the Knight and Goblin Gang on the right tower. Getting a lot of damage really off both of the towers here. Especially this right tower. Uh, forcing out a zap out of the opponent's hand. So check that out. Not bad defense. But what the heck are we going to do here, guys? We're not going to use a rocket against a Mega Minion. So we're going to take some hits on that Mega Minion. Then we're going to freeze it and then place the Knight. Check this out. Freeze. Knight. Boom. Okay. Did he still, oh no, he didn't. He latched onto the knight. What a great play. And now we're gonna have just enough elixir left for tornado. Do we even need it at this point? Of course we do, because the balloon's coming in. So here it goes. Right before that balloon hits on the tower, we're gonna get that nato down. That's gonna prevent any damage from that balloon or the death damage will hit actually, but no actual balloon bomb drop. So here we go. It's gonna be the next little round as we get into double elixir time. How's Morton gonna do this? I always find it incredible beating a really tough matchup like this, but Morton, you know, he wins more often than not against Lava Loon players. And it's just so crazy. I know, you know, people who don't make it this far in the video are gonna say, yeah, this deck loses to Lava Loon 10 times out of 10. But you know, if you play your cards right, no pun intended, I guess, uh, you know, you can come out you can come out victorious, even against this really difficult matchup. So look at this. He's actually going to give up that left tower. The left tower had like 1,000, 1,100 HP left, but he's going to give it up to the opponent. Instead, he's going to save. All he needs is one Goblin Barrel on the left tower there. Remember, the opponent only has Zap as a counter. So the opponent's going to give him that left tower. And now we're basically even at this point. We just need to play a little bit of defense there, or the opponent will get our King Tower actually down with that Mega Minion still alive and on it. So a Lava Hound coming in the pocket here, guys. Are we going to NATO? No, we're going to Goblin Gang on the right of the tower there. Forced out a zap out of the opponent's hand. He doesn't have a great counter for this Goblin Gang. They're going to get a few stabs in. But look at this. Look, the Lava Hound and the Mega Minion are both still alive here. He weighs perfect timing to drop that NATO there. Now we have two princesses against that Balloon. Balloon, oh, just barely does not make it to the tower. But the tower is down to 470 HP. Here comes the, here comes the log. Everything. We're throwing the kitchen sink at this guy. And... And all we need is a rocket, guys. All we need is a rocket. I can't believe he pulled that off. This guy, three accounts in Ultimate Champion. Let's give it up for Morton, the bait god, baby. Really, really good player. So, guys, thank you to Morton for joining me on the channel. And also, also thank you to my YouTube partner, Bren Chong. Check out his information in the description below. Guys, thanks so much for watching. And as always, take care, guys.